Hi, I'm Helen from Greenwell Cleaners. We are a non-toxic office cleaning company in Victoria, BC. And I've come here today to see Scott Kelly from uh, Gentle Earth. Um, we've been using his cleaning products for about seven years now mm -hmm. in, for all our office cleaning. So I wanted to get together and ask you a couple of questions sure. um, about your products, about the importance of non-toxic cleaning. Mm -hmm. um, so my first question is, why, why is it so important um, that cleaning products are labeled for their ingredients? Sure. So in regards to product labeling, you know, we have in Canada laws that protect the consumer, the customer from uh, the poisons that are in some products. Um, and they do that through product labeling. So with food products and skincare products, for instance, you'll find that manufacturers have to disclose the ingredients and there's, there's fines and product recalls if they, if they don't. Uh, unfortunately, with the cleaning industry, um, there's been a lot of lobbying by chemical uh, giants that basically don't want you to know what's in the products, uh, namely because, um, you know, cleaning products um, are designed to clean but oftentimes disinfect. And so what are they using in there to kill things? Mm -hmm. And those agents, can they also kill you with mm -hmm. prolonged exposure? And so to avoid being sued for causing cancer, if you don't know what's in those products, then you can't turn around and sue S.C. Johnson Company for, you know, the Mr. Clean that you've been using the last mm -hmm. seven years to clean your kitchen. Yeah. So we have a skincare line called Island Essentials and, you know, both the Gentle Earth Cleaning line uh, and the skincare line, we're full disclosure on our ingredients and that we've done the research to make sure that we're using the greenest soaps and the mm -hmm. greenest disinfectants and ingredients possible that do a great job of cleaning, but leave no trace and do no harm. And so that's really the mission of Gentle Earth. Um, we started Gentle Earth products um, in Victoria, you know, out of my concern for what goes down the drain, mm -hmm. goes right through the sewage system and into our oceans. And so we're slowly killing our own oceans. Yeah. And so the products need to be safe for human use mm -hmm. um, to protect the health of the home, but also the general environment. Yeah. And so um, when you don't disclose the ingredients, you know, what are you hiding? Mm -hmm. And so many of these companies, you know, they, they hide behind trademark secrets. But, you know, that is the reality is that when you use a cleaning product, um, you're directly exposed to it. You know, yeah. you have employees and yeah. you're responsible as an employer to try to keep those employees safe. Mm -hmm. Then there's the, you know, the aftermath of that. So after you've cleaned with the product, all products are going to leave a residue. Yeah. They're going to off gas. The product just doesn't disappear. Mm -hmm. It hangs out in airspace in sealed homes. Yeah. And so the problem with cleaning products in particular is, you know, if you're using toxic cleaning products, and we're in a sealed environment to try mm -hmm. to be energy efficient and there's not a lot of you know air exchange then yeah. what we're doing is we're off gassing these chemicals and then they're hanging out chemical a is hanging out in the air and it combines in the air with chemical b do we know what chemical a and b does once we breathe it into mm -hmm. our system and it's in our bloodstream yeah. and that's where it gets really scary you know and so my belief is that you know the way the industry will go um, is the government at some point is going to get enough backlash from consumers mm -hmm. you know because of the skyrocketing of chemical sensitivities asthmas cancer that are definitely exposure related to mm -hmm. you know toxic products yeah. and unfortunately cleaning products are some of the most toxic out there yeah. And so there is something that the industry does do, which is an MSDS sheet that, mm -hmm. you know, to the manufacturer's best ability, they um, <clears throat> will, you know, try to conduct their own research, mm -hmm. but they're not in the health and safety business. They're in the product selling business. And so that's the problem is when you're relying on a company to say, yes, this product is safe for your employees, mm -hmm. but they're the product company that's producing it. And so, you know, I don't buy anything that I don't know what's in it. And I think that the precautionary principle, um, you know, is something that we as stewards of our lands and our own bodies and our families, you know, and our employees' health need to be more aware of and more demanding. Um, because people with chemical sensitivities are the canary in a coal mine. You may not be 
reacting to the chemicals that were used the night before in your mm -hmm. workplace. But Nancy, you know, may be suffering silently. And is and that you fair? You also don't know over time what effects it's doing to you. So you might not feel it the next day, but over a certain number of years in the same business, in the same building, you, you, your body builds up, you know, the toxic level. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, you know, we need to find companies that are using green products and support mm -hmm. those, um, you know, because we only have one planet and we're running out of time. So it's really important to, to choose companies that are committed to environmental stewardship and to health stewardship. Yeah. And, um, you know, I have seen way too many, you know, illnesses uh, mm -hmm. through dealing with companies like yourself and mm -hmm. hotels and yeah. institutions where people develop these strange diseases and um, they're often just let go of the workplace because they're sick um, and you know that needs to change yeah I know for myself my, my, my employees are always surprised when they start working for me and that they don't they don't have any reactions and they don't they don't have the symptoms they had in you know maybe previous jobs where they'd be using these very toxic chemicals yeah so absolutely yeah. and you know um, most of the time, you don't have to use an easy off oven cleaner to clean an oven. Most of the time, you can use like our soft scrub. It's baking soda based with a microfiber scrubby pad mm -hmm. uh, and a good degreaser like the citrus solution, yeah. um, which is orange oil and desilvulcoside, which yeah. is an eco cert soap that we blend with the orange oil, mm -hmm. degreasing what's called the linamine, it's the yeah. active ingredient. And that stuff will remove permanent marker. Oh, I know. Um, from <laughs> the surface. Stuff. So, you know, um, most of the time you can get away with using gentle products um, and just keeping up a high standard of cleanliness. Yeah. And, um, you know, sometimes I find that customers will pull out the concentrate bottle and use mm -hmm. some of the concentrate on something that's really stubborn. Yeah. Um, but it's amazing what you can do with, um, you know, a combination of cleaners and microfiber cloths. So. Yeah. You know, these special microfibers <clears throat> lock in uh, all of the, you know, germs, bacteria, uh, pathogen load, the dirt, in essence, into the cloths. Um, you can use them with just water or with, you know, some benign cleaners yeah. and achieve the results that you normally would have to use a, a toxic cleaner to get yeah. the same kind of results. And that's where the technology of green has really yeah. advanced in the last 10 years. And I find it's more time efficient. The microfiber saves a whole bunch of time. Like Absolutely, it's, yeah, it's, it's very, it's very effective and efficient in terms of. Yeah, your green cleaning, you know, these days is not, you know, you're not sacrificing, you no. know, your um, I, I, one statistic. Um, the first institution that I converted ten years mm -hmm. ago now was Royal Woods University, and we were able to cut their cleaning time by twenty three percent by going to microfiber and yeah. a gentle soap cleaner over cotton and bleach, as mm -hmm. an example. And yeah. the results were much better with microfiber. Yeah. And we actually cleaned the public washroom for six months and then did a bacteria load test on it uh, and achieved better results than cotton and bleach. Namely because, you know, the, the chemical industries have certain um, frameworks for mm -hmm. their disinfection criteria. Yeah. So you spray a surface and that surface should be um, saturated and dwell for anywhere from two to 10 minutes in order to achieve the 99% disinfection rate of certain bacteria. But normally what happens because of time constraints and laziness and poor technique is you spray and you wipe. Yeah. And so that's where we have now the problem of superbugs. You know, and that also goes for things like Triclosan, you know, you read antibacterial soap, and most of the time they're talking about this insidious antibiotic called Triclosan that doesn't break down in our water streams mm -hmm. and um, develops resistance. It's horrible for our own bodies and then the general, um, you know, environment, the ocean, it just continues to wreak havoc. And so, you know, if we can use natural soap products and technologies like microfiber to clean, then we don't need to use these antibacterial products. Yeah. And um, you know, our own body's protective mantles, you know, are maintained. Mm -hmm. Whereas if we strip all of the protective oils out of our skin, then we actually open ourselves up to exposure and, and to um, a higher degree of, mm -hmm. of compromised immune systems. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> You're and, welcome. Um, yeah, I'd love to speak to you again, maybe about um, the active ingredients in the products sure. and how they work between the disinfecting. So Great. thank you very much. Thank you. Bye now. 
If you would like more information about our non-toxic, hassle-free office cleaning service in Victoria, BC, please visit our website at www.greenwheelcleaners.com. We look forward to talking with you.